have a little bit of discussion on this. So, you know, the county has taken back over uh, for the mowing that we had contracted out. So the county needed to be in a uh, place to be ready to be able to hit the ground running. So in our workshop, we discussed where we were going to have to purchase some more uh, equipment. But also, um, the county has been looking at other options because we had a road superintendent, and that road superintendent uh, resigned some months ago. And uh, so the county has been looking at other options, even uh, as to uh, contracting the road department out. So we're at the point right now, do we buy this equipment or not? So I will say it like this. Um, I do think we should not wait on this very long because we had uh, negotiations with other uh, businesses that uh, supply the equipment. So uh, we might need to uh, handle this in another meeting or another special call meeting. So we either need to make the motion to purchase what we have already discussed in the workshop or table it to the next to the next meeting. So Yes, we had talked about we had talked about in the January meeting we were talking about purchases and equipment, and then in our work in the work session uh, for here in the work session we started talking about uh, is that right? We were, it was during the work session we had discussed where what we might do for um, if we were going to hire a contract. Uh, road department out was just a lot of discussion so now we're kind of what we're faced with is having to either buy equipment and be ready on standby versus contracting things out and they had the equipment or the question was asked if we get the equipment is, is, is that going to we don't want to previously spend the money if we don't have to so without having really deep conversation with uh, okay, help me out. Um, so the the conversation of how we proceed with our road department has been has gone back and forth for a while. Even even it went back and forth prior to the last superintendent Matt. Um, but what has happened, the shift that has happened from Mr. Cody, respectfully, the time that the board, we talked about the cutting, bringing the cutting back in, is that I have also had to interject myself into the road department more because of the absence of a road superintendent and have found that the deficiencies aren't going away. And in fact, we're increasing our deficiencies, meaning um, we have equipment. So for the last three years, let me let me back up even a little bit further. I, I, I started to do an analysis of the department, and for the last three years, we have continued to add additional money to that budget. <clears throat> Meaning, year one I was here, we were at 1.7. Year two I was here, we invested 1.9. And in year three, we invested 2.1 million, and we've not made any progress in that department in the last three years. And what kind of what broke the back was um, I, it was brought to my desk two weeks ago that the reason that our dump truck that is down right now and in the shop is because of failed maintenance at the road department. And it's going to cost this county $45,000 to replace the motor because of failed maintenance. So, so in addition to, you know, the money that this board has continued to invest, the recruiting that we have continued to focus on, it, it's it's the operation itself and the function of the team that we're not we're not making progress. And we need to make progress right now more than ever because of the investments that we've made in that road department. Okay. Uh, actually, uh, what 
came from January through night and did the exhibition. Okay. That's all I Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay. That's all I want. Thank you. So, um, for new business, uh, what's the pleasure to the board of uh, purchasing uh, additional equipment for the regular department? Well, without any benefit. Well, the recommendation is either we, we purchase that equipment and continue to focus on maintaining the operation and recruiting for a superintendent to turn, turn that operation around or potentially entertaining the idea of putting an RFQ out to contract that to a third party company. If I can ask something, yes, you may. is there a way we could possibly have a hybrid? The county may pay for mowing but then the maintenance, like you were saying, if, if we needed to contract the road department out, we'll contract the road department out to maintain the roads themselves, but then also have the county have, have employees that actually maintain the mowing. the mowing, because we could actually get more bang for our buck, more value out of Having, a, having the county maintain the mowing rather than the contractor because the contractor would actually cost more than it would be for us to have those employees mowing the grass three or four times a year versus two times a year like we currently are in. I don't see no problem with so that. Could the, that, could that be enough? Th this is the pleasure of the board. However the board wants to write this out, however we are to queue it, what we would want to retain, what we don't want to retain, this is for the board to have that conversation and make that decision because when we do RFQ it, we control the RFQ and we control the scope of work. So really, that is the decision, decision of the board. Exactly. Yes, sir. Uh, kind of being made over to what I said a few minutes ago. You know, we, we saying that we need to put Brooks County to work at and, and keep our men in Brooks County. But we come back and get everything out and work to the contract. They came out and went to the other town, I texted them. And we really didn't have the first time at all. Not that they needed to have to work and, 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 and take care of their families. But we came along and talked about the room and didn't do the contract. And they come in and did it, and got the money, and they came somewhere else to spend it. And it was that first time. We, we might be going to put it. I mean, like you said, it's a pretty good point. We don't want to do it. Well, I, I, I kind of like that idea that a lot of them it. Because it is the truth that if we, if we can keep the mowing, we can mow any time we want to. We can mow when we stand, don't we have to, because if you give it to a contractor, they don't recycle. Right. And then let them, you know what I mean, be able to do the maintenance, we have the pot band, let them do the, the ditches, the covers, you know, and all that stuff like that. But the contract is to just keep the, keep the mowing. I think that's good. You still have to work. Exactly. Right. You still have to work. Take it as well. Right. But it works. You got to have some of the guys in those little moments. We didn't have that in the
by the time we had the season here. Michael Graves. Yeah. Yeah. Y'all yeah. yeah. right. heard the motion. Do I have a second? Second. I have a second. Any more discussion? The, the motion is to purchase the equipment from from where and we thought we had already approved the purchase of the equipment. Yeah, we're going to try it. This was whether we were going to go with an RQ to outsource. So. I, I'm sorry, but I don't think we approved it the other night. It was just presented. pricing down to government pricing. If so, then we'd consider it. So the motion tonight needs to be on that proposal. Right. Of course, versus the RFQ. I guess to remind everybody, it was going to go with one company, but there was one piece of additional equipment that was a little more than the other, but they were willing to do the same government pricing because there was some difference in between the bids. As long as we got that the same, you remember that? Yes, I remember my papers in the car because I brought all my solar documents. But anyway, that's so. Miss Kim, do you have it right here? Then I'll see if I can include it. But anyway, just talk about it. If he can get it the same as the the lowest of the government pricing, that's what he did. So that's what we're acting on. Um, so he's got the Flint, because I do believe it was Flint that he was going to go with. Um, so on the mowing equipment quotes, his, the Flint price was 67500 and there was monthly and annual leasing options. Thank you. 
And he, he asked, he, he was challenged to ask for production because it was a, yeah. a, a nice idea of difference. They gave it to me. So that was the conditions of um, him going ahead and um, being able to purchase the equipment, which they were met. And the time frame? Yeah, the, um, the tractor was in stock. The other two pieces was 30 to 40. 60 to 90 days, right? 60 to 90 days out. No. Yes, sir. That's right. All right, so well, Chen, do, do we have the numbers, the final numbers from the proposal? I don't have that in front of me. That is um, what she gave me was from the last meeting. So that, that's the only problem I see is that the motion, the motion will need amount and source of funds. And without amount, I think it would be difficult to source the funds. Our, our other, other yeah. Okay, yeah, so I recommend we send the motion. I'll just take a motion. All right. So please proceed the motion. So uh, this time we just need to do uh, table. That's my recommendation is that until we have the number. And I apologize for you. I was not aware that Bob was not going to be this evening. All right, so what's the third and fourth?